Hello there. Hello. We've got the whole range of Sooty educational videos here. Yes. The Learn with Sooty range. And we're trying to decide which one to watch. Yes. Not an easy task, I can tell you. <laughs> what about this one? This is the uh, Start to Read video. Shall we watch that? Oh, Brilliant. yes, yes. I like that one because Matthew read a story to us all. That's mm. right, I did. Mm. Shall we watch this one? Shall we watch? Yes. You're not sure? Huh? So she's not sure. Mm. Okay, well, what about this one? This is, um, this is the Be Safe video. Oh, Remember yes. That? Yes, that's a favourite because Sooty met a policeman, didn't he? Yes, you did. Shall we watch this one then? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yeah. You're not sure? Sooty isn't sure. Mm. Well, what, about, what about this one then? Um, how things work. Remember this? Oh, remember this? yes. Don't you remember, Sooty? Matthew went on a slide. It was great. Yes, I did. Shall we watch this one? Yes, yes. You're not sure. What about this one? Have fun with numbers. Oh, remember this yes. one, Sooty? Yeah. Yes. That was interesting. We did a lot of counting, didn't we? We certainly did do a lot of counting. Shall we watch this? Shall we watch it? Yes. Yeah. You're not sure. You're not sure about much, are you? What about this one? A to Z of animals. What about this one? Remember this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We saw loads of animals, didn't we? We certainly did. Shall we watch it? Shall we watch it? Yes. 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 You're not sure. Oh, there's only one left. What about this one? Start to read two. Remember this, Sue? Yes, yes, it was great. That's where everybody read a story. Do you remember? Absolutely right. So shall we watch this one? Yes. 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 You're not sure? Well, what are we going to do then? You don't know which one to watch. Let's watch all of them. Yes, one after another. One after another? Well, I must confess, they are rather good. Let's watch all of them. The whole Learn With Sooty range. Hello there, and welcome to Sooty's A to Z of animals. We're going to see some fascinating animals today. We're going to put them right here in front of you so we can look at them and talk about them. Oh, that sounds like great fun, Matthew. I'm looking forward to this. Me too. What, what sweet? Are we going to put them right here? Yes, I just said that. So, the first animal... Well, even the lions and tigers? No, not the lions and tigers. Some animals are too big or too dangerous to get here in the room. So we're going to see those on that video screen over there. Oh, Matthew. What, Sue? Don't forget to tell them about Sooty's magic transporter. Of course. Sooty's magic transporter. Don't, never mind the bow. Look, you explain about the magic transporter. Go on, tell well, them. Well, when you give the word, Matthew, yeah. I press this button, which will make you and Sooty disappear from here and reappear in another place where you can talk all about other animals. Absolutely. One of Sooty's inventions. What? Can we try it? All in good time, Sweep. This is the A to Z of animals, you know. So let's start with the first letter, shall we? The letter A. And A is for axolotl. Oh. Now, there's a strange creature yes, for you. Well, what is it exactly, Matthew? Well, these are actually amphibians. There we are. Can oh, you see? Yes. This is an axolotl. Let me just <laughs> hold him up so we can see. Can you see there are two of them there? What, Sooty? What is an amphibian? Well, an amphibian is a creature which can live either on land or in the water. These are aquatic amphibians and they're living in the water, as you can see. <coughs> what does he eat? Well, he'll eat earthworms or, or grubs or anything else that he finds in the water there. Mm. Well, can you keep them as pets? Well, some people do, in fact, keep them as pets. So, yes, they're very, very easy to keep. What's it? How big will he grow? Well, these are about three quarters grown, these. They will grow up to about ten inches, something like that. Are they always that colour, black or white? Well, that's sort of a pinky and that's sort of a dark brown. They can be both colours at the same time, actually, Sue. They can be sort of, you know, piebald with sort of spots and things. They look anyway, I they're... think we've seen enough of the axolotls. What about the name for him? What, what should we call Andrew. Andrew the axolotl. <laughs> Come over here, sweet. Come over here. I think we should see another animal now. So you press the remote here and watch the video screen over there. Press it. There we are. Ah, now there we are. A is for... Ant. Ooh, yeah. Yes. What sort of ants are those? They're leaf cutter ants, Sue. Where are they from? Not from this country. They're from South America, actually. What are they carrying? Well, those are leaves which they use to make their nest out of. So, we've seen ants mm -hmm. and axolotl. What else shall we... What's it? 
Get Sue to transporters. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it's time, it's time. Sue, are, are you ready? Yes. Yeah, stand by your button and we'll say ready, steady, go. Are you ready? Steady. Go, Sue. <laughs> it works, sweet. Thank you very much, Sue. Where are we? Well, we're at the Chessington World of Adventure, Sooty, and look over there. A is for Adax. Is that an Adax? Yes, that's an Adax over there. Looks like a goat. No, it's not a goat at all. It is, in fact, part of the antelope family. Where do they live? Well, they live in the Sahara, and they can last for a very long time without water. What do they eat? Well, they eat mainly cactus and other succulents, the vegetarians, and they are an endangered species. What does that mean? Well, it means that there aren't very many of them left. So there you are, you're lucky to see one. A is for Adax. Hooray, welcome back, you two. Thank you, Sue. <laughs> Did you like the Adax? Yes, it was a lovely creature. Aren't they just? Ooh. Well, now it's time for the next letter. The next letter is B, and B is for beetle. Oh. That is a tropical stag beetle, that oh, is. Yes. Are they animals, Matthew? No, they're actually insects, Sue. What, Sooty? How many different types are there? Well, you may be surprised to learn there are over 300,000 different sorts of beetles. 300,000? Yes. Does he sting? Well, no, he doesn't sting, but they can give you a little nip. Hang on, sweet, have a closer look. There we are. Have a look at him. See him there? A stag beetle. And what do they eat, Matthew? Well, they'll eat actually almost anything, Sue. Rotting fruit or leaves, things like that. What? What about a name for him? What about a name for him, sweet? Bernie. Bernie. Bernie the beetle. Okay, let me just pop him down there. Let me just put him down there. And we'll have a look on the video and see what else begins with B. Just a minute. Ah, there we are. Now, B is for beaver. Now, what sort of animals are bees? Well, they're rodents, actually. The same family as rats and mice and squirrels. Right. Aren't they famous for building dams? That's right. You can see one yeah. underwater there. So, B is for beaver. We've seen a beetle and a beaver. What next? What? Get Sue to press the button. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Are you ready, Sue? Ready, steady, go! Thank you, Sue. Well, B is for... What is it for? I was just going to tell you. B is for boa constrictor. What's that? Well, it's a sort of snake. And here to tell us about boa constrictors is Judy, who's the head keeper here at Chessington World of Adventures. Judy? Is that a boa constrictor you've got there? Oh, look this at that. This is a boa constrictor. That's absolutely you amazing. Is, is this a he or a she? That's a little male. A little male. Well, he's absolutely beautiful. And uh, are these similar to pythons, are they? Yes, boa the same sort of snake. I see. But there are some differences. Oh, he obviously knows. What, what are the differences between boa constrictors and pythons? Uh, a boa constrictor bears live young. Which means baby boa constrictors. That's right. Yes. And a python lays eggs. And how old is this one? This one's just over a year old. And how big will he grow? Well, he could grow to 16 feet. 16 feet? And what about pythons? Are they even bigger? Yes, they can grow quite a lot bigger. Even bigger. Well, thank goodness we've got a boa constrictor and thank goodness we haven't got a python. <laughs> ah, but that's where you're wrong. We have got a python. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Look at this. Look at this. Actually, they're not at all slimy. No. I always thought the snakes were slimy, but they're not, are they? Not in the least. They're sort of shiny and beautiful. They are beautiful as well, aren't they? So, boys and girls, B is for boa constrictor. <laughs> yes, and uh, L is for leave. Let's leave, shall we? Thank you very much, Judy. Ooh, I don't <coughs> like snakes. <coughs> it was really quite nice. Anyway, Sue, let's move on to the next letter. The next letter is C, and C is for <coughs> chameleon. Ooh. Is he a lizard? That's right, Sue. Well done. He is a lizard. He's known as the Old World Lizard. He looks like a prehistoric monster, doesn't he? Mm. What, Sooty? Is it true he can change colour? Yes, chameleons can change colour. If they're on a tree which is green, he'll stay green. And if you put him on the brown earth, then he'll turn brown. <coughs> what does he eat? <coughs> well, he eats uh, butterflies and uh, moths and things like that. Have a closer look at him, sweet. <coughs> enjoyed those beetles, Matthew? <laughs> no, I think they were a bit big. What should we call him? Any ideas? Any ideas? <coughs> Colin. Colin the chameleon. <coughs> okay, so C is for chameleon. Let's press the video button and see what we've got on video. There are. <coughs> C is for camel. Yes, we recognise camels, <coughs> don't we? Mm. But why do they have humps? Well, they store fat in the hump, Sue, for nourishment. And whereabouts do they live? In the desert regions <coughs> where food can be very scarce.
That's why they've got the hump, you see. So, C is for camel. C is for chameleon as well. And let's see what other C we've got. What? Get Sue to send us somewhere. <laughs> OK, Sue, can you send us somewhere by pressing the button? Thank you, Sue. Well, C is for... That's right, Sissy. C is for cow. Uh, Judy, what sort of cow is this? Well, Ermintrude is a bit of a mixture. Mother was a Frisian Hereford cross and her father was a Sussex. Oh, that's a bit complicated, isn't it? Ermintrude is about ten years old now. We've I had her since see. she was three weeks. And how long do you think she might be expected to live? How long do cows well, live? Well, twenty, twenty-five years. Yes. Yeah. Can you feed her something? Have you got a biscuit there? Are you asked for tea? Yeah. Would you like to give that, give that to Ermintrude? <laughs> oh! <laughs> what would she normally eat? What, what do cows normally eat? Well, she eats all sorts of greens and fruit and vegetables and grass and things like that, but she also has these which are special concentrated pellets. They don't look very nice. Well, I don't think you like them, but Ermitry certainly seems to like them. And what does she weigh? Any idea, Judy? Um, around 600 kilograms, I should say. 600 think. kilograms. You're right, that's about three quarters of the weight of a family car. Yes, you're quite right, Sooty. So, C is for cow. <laughs> On to the next letter, D. D, of course, is for dog. Aww. And this is the Corbett family pet. Oh, isn't she lovely? What sort of dog is she? She's a Cocker Spaniel, actually, oh, yeah. Sue. And her name is Label. Label, come and say hello to Sooty. Come on, over here. Come and say hello. Come and say hello. Here we are. Oh. We're actually very good friends. Oh, look. Oh, look. She's licking his nose. Label, down there, down there. Look, what's this? What's this? She looks a bit like Sweet. She does look a bit like Sweet. Mm. Don't forget that if you have a dog, they're a great deal of work. You've got to do a lot of looking after. Explain why she's called Label. Good idea. Well, you see, the children wanted to call her Lady, and my wife wanted to call her Mabel, so we had to split the difference and call her Label, like a luggage label. There's a sweep and Label, having a little chat, as dogs do. So there we see the letter D is for dog. Lie down, there's a good girl. So D is for dog. Let's have a look on the video and see what else D stands for. Press that, Sooty. There we are. Ah, D is for donkey. Oh, lovely, Matthew. I love donkeys. Yes, everybody does. They're clever and strong and sure-footed, Sue. Are they with that colour? No, no, no. Donkeys can be brown or white or black. So we've seen D is for dog and we've seen that D is for donkey. What's the D? You want to see another D? You sweep? OK, Sue, you know what to do, don't you? I Press do. the button. Ready, okay. steady, go. D? is for duck. This is a beautiful duck. Judy, what sort of duck is this? This is an Aylesbury duck. An Aylesbury duck. And uh, where, where are they from then? Are they from Aylesbury? No, I don't think they are. Do you know where they're from, Judy? They come from China. I see. What's his name? I don't know. What is his name? Does he have his a name? His name is George. George. You want to say hello to him? Come on, George. You want to say hello to Sooty? <laughs> He's really lovely, isn't he? Smashing. How old is George? George is about five years old. Oh, I see. I didn't realise they lived for that long. He's lovely. And he's got, of course, webbed feet because he's a water bird. Can we have a look at his feet? And those are to enable him to swim through the water, of course. Uh, Judy, what do ducks eat? What, what's their main food? Well, we make a sort of porridge for them with corn and maize and things like baby food in it and bread. So they're vegetarians? Yes. Oh, yes. And will he go in the water? I think he probably will. Would you like to put George... Bye-bye, George. Put him down let's just see if he will go into the water. Here we go, George. There we go. I liked old George. <laughs> the next letter... OK, sweet. The next letter is E. E is for... Earthworm. Oh, I don't like them. <laughs> I can't be bothered to ask how many different sorts of earthworm, as there is obviously only one. Obviously only one. <laughs> Hold still, Sooty. Let's put this on here. No, in fact, you're absolutely wrong, Sue. There's more than one. There are 2,000... 500 different species what? of earthworm. Well, how do they live? Well, as you know, they live underground and they live by making tunnels underground. Look at that. <laughs> what do they eat? Well, as they're travelling through the earth, Sooty, they digest organic matter. Look at that. Are they dangerous? No, they're not dangerous, Sweep. Far from it. As a matter of fact, worms are very useful things because they make the soil more fertile and easier to grow things in. So, E is for earthworm. Let's see what else E stands for. Here's the button. Press it, Sooty. Let's have a look on the video. Ah, E is for emu. Oh, well, I thought that was an ostrich. No, see, we're on the letter E. This is an emu. It's similar to an ostrich. Oh, they look huge. Mm. How big do they grow? Well, up to two metres. It's the largest bird in the world after the ostrich. Mm. Oh, 
Look, an elephant. Yes, mm. E is for oh. elephant. Look at those huge feet. Yes, mm. they're enormous, aren't they? And he's got a trunk, which is actually a long nose. He uses that just like we use our hands for picking things up. He mm. used for elephant. Hello. Well, from something very large to something very small, mm. because it's the next letter. Mm. The next letter is F, and F is for frog. Oh. There we are, there's three frogs here. Now, can you guess what sort of a creature a frog is? Have oh, are they reptiles? No, they're not reptiles. Oh, fish. Insects? No, they're not insects. Fish? No. Birds? No, they're not birds. I'll give you a clue. We've had one already. It was the first creature we had. Lives on the land and in the water. Oh, yes, I know. What? An amphibian. Amphibian? Quite right. They live in water and on the land. What do they eat? Well, frogs eat uh, sort of worms and slugs and other little creatures that they find in the water. Let's have a look at him. Mm. Their Even... eyes look very bright, don't Oh, they've they? got extremely good vision suit. And in fact, that's how they live, by mm. hunting. Let's put him on the... Whoa! Oh, he's jumped off. <laughs> they've got very long legs, so they can hop away from anything that's threatening them. So F is for frog. Let's have a look on the video and see what other F we've got. There we are. F is for ferret. Oh, so that's what ferrets look like. That's right. They look very cuddly. Well, they're not actually very cuddly, Sue. Mm. They've got very sharp teeth and very sharp claws. Mm. Is he eating the grass? No, he's a meat eater. He's actually looking for his next meal. So, F is for ferret, mm. and F is for frog. Mm. Now, let What, Sooty? Good idea. Sue, it's your turn again. Right. Use Sooty's magic transporter. All right, then. Ready, steady, go! Well, here we are, Sooty. F is for, um... You tell me, go on. What is F for? Flamingo. Quite right. F is for flamingo. And there's a whole lot of flamingos standing there. They're lovely, aren't they, Sooty? A very nice colour. They are, they're sort of pinky colour. And that's because of something that's found in their food. That's what turns in that pink colour. They've got funny shaped beaks. Yes, they are very strange. The beaks are held upside down in the water. They actually put their heads upside down and the food is filtered through, rather like using a hair comb, and that's what catches all the food. Can they fly? Oh, yes, they certainly can. They're migratory birds, and they fly great distances. Often you can see them standing on one leg as well, you know. There's one doing it now. So, F is for flamingo. Beam us up, Sue. <laughs> What's it? Next letter. Well, the next letter is G, and... Uh, G oh, is for look. guinea pig. He's lovely. Yeah, he is nice, isn't he? Mm. Can anybody tell me what sort of an animal guinea pig is? Uh, well, he's not an amphibian, is he? No, he's certainly not an amphibian. He's, in mm. fact, a rodent. A rodent? Do you know any other rodents? Rats and mice. Yes, that's right, that's right. Yes, and of course ferrets, man. Yes, we've seen a ferret, mm. haven't we? Mm. Yeah, lovely, isn't he? Do they make good pets? Mm. Well, as you can see, he's very, very tame, and he enjoys being stroked. You're making those little squeaking noises. Mm, what do they like to eat best? What do they like to eat? Well, we'll show you what they like to eat, because we've got something here. Look at this. It's his favourite food. Over this side, you give it to him, Sooty. Round here. Round here. There we are. Now I'll settle down to that. You see, guinea pigs are vegetarians, and they enjoy eating cabbage, lettuce, things like that, and carrots. He's enjoying that. What should we that. call him? What should we call him? Gordon. Gordon the guinea pig. Right, so G is for guinea pig. Let's press the button on the video recorder. You carry on feeding him. See what else we've got beginning with G. There we are. G is for goat. Yes. Look, he's got great big horns. He certainly has. Yes. Oh, and a little beard. He looks a bit like you, Matthew. What? Cheeky. Anyway, there we are. G is for goat. And G, of course, is for guinea pig. Actually, G is for greedy guinea pig. He's nearly finished all that, hasn't he? So, Sue, would you like to uh, press the button and take us to see something Certainly else that begins will. with G? G is for giraffe. And that's who we're seeing now. He's a lovely creature, isn't he, Sooty? What's special about the giraffe? Well, the giraffe is, in fact, the tallest animal in the whole world. And he can grow to be as tall as a two-story house. He's a lovely creature. Where does he live? Well, he lives in Africa, on the plains of Africa. And you see that long tongue curling around those leaves there? Can you see that? Well, that tongue can be half a metre long. And it's used to pick branches and leaves off trees. So, there we have it. We've seen the tallest animal in the world. G is 
sort you out. Well, the next letter is H. So, what? What are we going to see? I'll show you. H is for hamster. He's lovely. This is a long-haired hamster. Oh, and is he a rodent? Yes, he is, Sue. Well done. That's absolutely right. What, Sooty? Do they make good pets? Well, they do actually make very good pets, but they don't tend to like other hamsters. They like to be on their own. And what do hamsters like to eat? Well, I'll show you, actually. We've got some food over here. Here we are. Let's put it there, because they really are quite greedy little things. There he is. He actually eats the same sort of things as guinea pigs. He's a vegetarian. And now we can see he's having some cabbage and some corn. And he's pushing all that... What? Tell us about the pouches. Oh, yes. Hamsters have got pouches either side of their face, and they put the food in their pouch and keep it to eat later on. It's a good idea, isn't it? What should we call him? Uh, I've got an idea. Let's call him Harry. Harry. Harry the hamster. Hello, Harry. <laughs> Hello there, Harry. H is for hamster. Let's have a look on the video, see what else begins with H. Ah, H is for hippopotamus. Oh, yes, H is for hippopotamus, and H mm. is for huge, isn't it? Yes, it's the third largest animal in the world, Sue. Oh, look, oh. he's getting into the water. Hippopotamuses spend most of their time in the water, actually. <laughs> so H is for hippopotamus, and H is for hamster. A hungry hamster as well. Uh, Sue, mm? take us off. Let's see something else, beginning with H. All Press right. the button after three. One, Hang two... On. So, H is for horse and goodness me what a beautiful horse this is what's she called let's ask judy judy what's this horse called this horse is called breeze breeze that's a nice name and what sort of horse is she she's a cleveland bay cross for the hunter she's absolutely beautiful what do the horses eat what, what do they eat judy they eat corn and bran and oats and uh, grass and hay and all sorts of things like that. I'll ask her. So what do you want to know? Do they enjoy certain sort of treats, anything? Well, that she you... loves polo mints. Loves mints? Well, I've got some mints here, actually, Sooty. Try this. Uh, there's a polo mint. See whether, see whether mm -hmm. Breeze will take the polo mint from you. <laughs> I don't think she can do Hang on. Perhaps I should give it to her. There we go. She's very beautiful. Oh, yes, yeah, Sooty says... He wonders if he's got any horses which are slightly smaller, more sooty size. Oh, yes, he's got some of those. Really? Yes. Very Let's tiny. go and see them. Oh, he's beautiful. He really... Is this a little horse? Judy, is this a little horse? Well, we're cheating here a little bit. He's a baby Shetland pony. <laughs> he's lovely. How old is he? He's three months old. Three months old. It was nice to meet him. Thank you for showing him to us. Don't forget, P is for pony, but H is for horse. Oh, that little horse, wasn't he cute? Wasn't it wonderful? Yeah. Anyway, that's what it's finished with because now it's I. And um, oh. I is for iguana. Oh, it looks very much like the chameleon we saw, doesn't it? Well, well done, Sue. It is in fact the same family as the chameleon. Look at him. Fantastic, isn't it? Is it dangerous? No, iguana sweep will do absolutely anything to keep out of trouble. But in fact, they can bite and they can scratch. Well, do they make pressed. good pets? Well, some people do keep them, but they're a bit tricky to keep, Sue, because you've got to make sure that they stay nice and warm. <coughs> what? What sort of size will it grow to? Well, this may surprise you, because iguanas can actually grow to be up to two metres <coughs> in length. And where do they live, Matthew? Well, they live in North America and Central America, and in fact, South America, all over the Americas. Oh, Matthew, I don't think I like reptiles very much. Oh, it's lovely. What are we going to do about it if you don't like them then, Sue? Well, I'll press the button and we'll look at something else. OK, after three. Ready? One, two, two three, three, go! go. <laughs> well, Sooty, I is for ibis. What? What is an ibis? Well, there's plenty of them here. Uh, ibis is a water bird. And there are two different sorts of ibis here. There's the scarlet ibis, and that's the sort of reddy pink coloured one, and also the punit ibis, and that's the black one. What? What sort of birds are they? Well, they're water birds, which means... What? Does it mean they swim? No, they don't swim, not like ducks. They, in fact, wade through the water with their long, spindly legs, and the, the peculiar-shaped beak with the long curve is for sticking down into the mud so that they can feed. Whereabouts they live? Well, they come from South America. And an interesting thing about them, when they nest, hundreds and thousands of birds all nest in the same place at the same time. It's quite a crowd, I can tell you. What? What were they called again? Sooty, 
I is for Ibis. The next letter is J, and J is for Jackdaw. Oh, well, why this are they jackdaw. called Jackdaws? Because their call sounds a bit like Jack, Jack, like that. <laughs> what does he eat? Well, I've got a strawberry here in my hand. Oh, he's gone. He's flying around. Oh, he's there on the windowsill. Anyway, J is for Jackdaw. Let's have a look now and see what we've got on video, shall we? Press the video button, Sooty. Ah, now look, J is also for jellyfish. <laughs> what flavour is it? Don't be silly, sweet. They don't come in different flavours. No, but they do come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, don't they, Matthew? That's right, Sue. This one's called an upside-down jellyfish. <laughs> what other sort of J's have we got? What? Sue will tell us. You can do better than that, Sue. Show us by pressing the button. Ready, steady, go! go. <laughs> well, so T, J is for Jaguar. And this is a Jaguar right now. Look at the teeth on that. Is this a leopard? No, it's not a leopard. It's much smaller than a leopard, much stronger and stockier. The leopard spots are just black spots. Ooh, look at that. Whereas a Jaguar has got little dots inside the spots. You think it's time we left? So do I. Sue, beam us up. Don't forget that J is for Jaguar. I'm not too sure I like cats when they're that no, big. But luckily, the next letter is K. Mm -hmm. And uh, K oh, is for no. kitten. Isn't he sweet? He's beautiful, isn't he? Yeah. And they go for a little walk. Hello, they make good pets. Well, yes, they do make good pets, but don't forget that kittens do grow into cats. And if you're going to get one, do make sure you buy a book which tells you about how to look after them. Come on, Kitty. Come back over here. There's a good boy. He's got very, very sharp claws, as you can see. Come on. Yes, they good certainly boy. have. Give him a little stroke, Sooty, and maybe Aww. he might start to purr. <laughs> there we are. Anyway, K is for kitten. And I wonder what else. Uh, have a look on the video. All right, well, you just move around there and press the button. Ah, now there we are. K is for koala bear. Well, uh, actually, Matthew, I have to say you're wrong in calling him a koala bear. Are we? Because, well, I happen to know that they're not bears at all. They're called marsupials. So K is for koala. And K is for kitten. What should we call this little kitten? What should we call him? <coughs> Kevin. All right, Kevin the kitten. Kevin. Um, should we go and see something else? Yes, let's go and see something else. I was just thinking that Australian animals, like the koala, are very interesting. If you press the button, I think we could go and see another Australian animal. Right, hold Ready? tight. Ready? And go. <laughs> well, now that the noise has died down, Sissy, K is for kookaburra. What on earth is a kookaburra? Well, those were kookaburras making that funny noise, like a, like a laughing noise. It's a bird from Australia. It's also known as the laughing jackass. It is a strange noise. It is a very loud noise as well. I'll tell you something else interesting about the kookaburra. It's the world's largest kingfisher. Does that mean it eats fish? Absolutely right. There you can see him. Look at his feathers and his long, sharp, pointed beak. And what a loud noise they make, don't they? So there we have K for kookaburra. What's the next letter, Matthew? Well, the next letter is L. Mm -hmm. And um, L is for ladybird. Oh, that's one an here. insect, isn't it? Well done, Sue. It is. It is, in fact, one of those beetles that we saw earlier. You remember how there were so many different sorts mm. of beetles? And this is one sort of beetle, a ladybird. Now, the ladybird is very, very popular. Everybody seems to love the ladybird. Do you know why? No, do you know why? Because they're so pretty. Well, that's one reason. Another reason? Another reason? No, I don't know. You're not going to get it, are you? It's because ladybirds eat green fly. And the green fly are the little insects that eat roses and flowers. So that's why they're so popular. <laughs> can they fly? Well, yes, they can, actually. They've got a hard shell case over their wings, and they just open that case up and fly away. What are we going to call him? What should we call a ladybird? What should we call a ladybird? Hmm? <laughs> Diana? Ladybird? Diana? All right. Let's call it Diana. And let's see what else begins with L, shall we? Press the video button, Sooty, and let's have a look. L is for... L is for lion from Africa. King of the jungle. Oh, is that a lioness? That's right, Sue. One of the ways to tell the difference, let's have a look at the lion, is that the lion has got a long, shaggy mane. Oh, yeah. There we are. 
are. Beautiful. <laughs> That's a llama. L is for llama. And is he a wild animal? Well, most llamas are domesticated, actually, Sue. <laughs> They're used for carrying things. Well, where do they come from? They're from South America. Mm -hmm. L is for llama. Lots of llamas. <laughs> <laughs> well, the next letter is M. And, um... M is for oh, mouse, no. another Hello, member Matthew. of the rodent family. Let's put him on Sooty's head, shall we? <laughs> do they make good pets? Careful. Well, they do actually make good pets, but actually you've got to be very careful with them. You've got to look after them because mice can tend to smell a little bit. Let's put him down there, watch him walking about a bit. There we go. Off you go. How long does a mouse live, Matthew? Well, not actually terribly long, so about a couple of years, that's all. Mm. What do they eat? Well, similar to the hamster and similar to the guinea pig, they're vegetarians and they eat corn and seed and things like that. What? How many different types of mouse are there, then? Oh, up to 40 different oh, species, golly. actually. See? 40 of them. What should we call him? What should we call him? Maureen? No, it's a him. What should we call him, not Maureen? Uh, Morris. We... Morris. Morris the mouse. OK? There we are, Morris the mouse. So M is for Morris the mouse. Let's have a look on the video. Pop him down here, Sooty. Let's have a look on the video and see what else M stands for. Down you go. Ah, now, M stands for monkey. What sort of monkey is he? Well, he's actually a Barbary ape, Sue. Mm. There we are. Oh, look, there's a family of them. Yes, that's true, because monkeys are rather like humans. They do tend to live in families. So M is for monkey and M is for mouse. That mouse is having a little cuddle with Sooty. <laughs> Uh, Sue, press the button. Let's see what else we can get that right. begins with M, shall we? Well, I know we've just seen a monkey and said that M is for monkey, but we couldn't resist this, could we, Sooty? Because we're going to say it again. M is for monkey. And this is a very, very special monkey. And here to tell us all about her is Ian Williams, a chief keeper here at Chessington World of Adventure. So, Ian, tell us about this little girl. She's beautiful. What sort of monkey is she? She's a Salibis black ape. Salibis black ape, and she doesn't look very old. How old is she? She's three months old. And why is she away from her mummy? Her mother had a difficult birth and was una unable to look after her. She wasn't well enough? No. Oh, I see. Can you have a closer look? Ian, can you just move her across here? Let's sort of have a look. You want to take her home with you? I don't think you can quite do that, Sooty. Have you given the little monkey a name? Um, no, it's considered unlucky with young animals. Oh, I see. So you haven't got a name just yet. She's beautiful. She certainly is, I think. <gasps> She's giving you a kiss, Sooty. Well, I think that's a very nice time. Very nice time to... I think she was... She's trying to... She's tickling you on the nose. I think it's a nice time to say goodbye from the Salibis Black Ape. Let's go back and see Sue. <laughs> Don't forget that M is for monkey. Oh, oh, she was gorgeous, wasn't she? Yeah, she Actually, I've got a secret to tell you. Mm -hmm. We're thinking about calling her Sooty. Oh, <laughs> Come on, stand up. Anyway, that's enough of M's. Let's move on to the next letter. The next letter is N. N. And N is for Newt. Oh, is he an amphibian, Matthew? Well done, Sue. He mm. is an amphibian because Newts are actually descended from fish. Mm. Look at that. What, Sooty? How many different sorts of newts are there? Well, there are three types of newts in the UK, but this one actually happens to be an American newt. Oh. Yeah. What does he eat? Well, he'll eat uh, slugs and insects and water larvae, things like that, beetles. Now, who can tell me, have a guess as to what a baby newt looks like? Well, it must be a smaller one of those, sure. Well, almost. You see, newts actually lay eggs. I don't know if you knew that, sweet. And when the eggs hatch and come out, do you know what the babies are called? Hmm? Yeah. Tadpoles. Oh, the same as frogs. <laughs> Absolutely. So anyway, what city? You want to do some magic on the newt? You want to do some magic? Well, here's your magic one. Look, we're just going to try some magic on this newt. Let's put it in there, shall we? Here we go. Bring it up, Sooty. Right. <coughs> wow. Sooty, that was magical. We've moved on to the next letter. The next letter is O, and O is for owl. What sort of an owl is he, Matthew? Well, he's actually uh, a tawny owl, Ooh. Sue. He's lovely. What does he eat? Well, he eats rodents, rats and mice and things like that. And he is, in fact, a hunter. <laughs> does he hunt at night? Well, of course, many people think that owls only come out at night, but they do come out during the day, and sometimes they hunt during the day as well. 
And look at those remarkable eyes. They don't move very much inside their sockets, which is why he moves his whole head instead. What is that why they're called wise eyes? That probably is. That probably is, Sue. You would call him Oliver. <laughs> Oliver the owl. Okay, let's move on to the video and see what else begins with O. Ah, O is for Okapi. Oh, look at them. They look like a cross between zebras and giraffes, don't they? Yes. They do actually, Sue, come mm. to think of it. Look at that tongue. Yeah. <laughs> now, he uses that to feed from bushes and trees. And actually, he's from the same family as a giraffe. So, O is for Oliver the Owl, and O is for Okapi. What's it? You want to know what else begins with O? Sue, right. do the business. I After am. three. One, two, three. Thanks, Sue. Well, so the O is for Shh. otter. You can't see any otters. Neither can I. They're very, very shy creatures. They look sort of like a cross between a dog and a cat and a... Well, see if you can see some. Shh, be very quiet. Did you see any? Don't forget, O is for otter. Did you see the otter, Sue? Well, I think I must have missed him because I blinked. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, never mind. That's enough of the O letter because we're coming out to the best one of all, in my opinion, anyway. It's P because oh, no. P is for puppy. Oh, and here's yeah. one now. Isn't he gorgeous? Lovely. Matthew, what? what sort of dog will he be when he grows up? Well, what sort of dog is he now? Oh, yeah. He is a Yorkshire Terrier, Sue. He won't grow that much bigger than he already is, actually. There he is. He's absolutely fantastic. Say hello to Sweep. Sweep, he's down there. Say hello. Now, boys and girls, if you're thinking about getting a puppy, yes, exactly, they should read a book. Get the book up here. I think he's going to go to sleep, actually. Here's a book here, which is published by the RSPCA, and it tells you how to look after your new puppy. And in fact, the RSPCA published lots of different books about lots of different animals. So make sure you read about your pet, won't you? Come on. He's gone to sleep. Yeah. Well, it's a hard life doing nothing, you know. So P is for perfect puppy. Let's have a look on the video and see what else begins with P, shall we? Let's have a look. Ah, yes. P is for pig. No jokes about who it looks like, by the way. What sort of noise do they make, Sue? Um. That's about it. All together. Yeah, that's exactly right. Oh, look, there's right. his curly-whirly tail. You're, you're right, Sue. So P is for pig, and P is for <laughs> puppy. Uh, what else begins with P? Uh, Sue, right. please do the honours with the knob. Well, P, of course, is for penguin. And that's who we've got standing right next to us here. And this is a king-sized penguin. What's his name? His name is Pringle the Penguin. He's lovely, isn't he? Whereabouts did he come from? Well, he comes from the Antarctic. He's a lovely bird. And king-sized penguins are the biggest penguins, and they can stand a metre tall. What do they eat? Well, normally he would eat fish, but he doesn't seem to have much of an appetite today. Anyway, the rest of the penguins can have that. But P is for penguin. Sue, what did you think about Pringle the penguin? Oh, to keep him as a pet. Yes, he's lovely, he really is. Anyway, that's the end of the P's, and now on to the Q's. Tricky one, Q. You try and think of an animal that's name begins with Q. Very hard. But we've got one. In fact, we've got two. And they are quail. Q is for quail, and quail are game birds. What's a game bird, Matthew? Well, game bird means that that's a bird that is hunted. But, of course, these days, many people think that hunting is wrong. What's it? What do they eat? Well, they eat corn and cereal and grain, things like that. <laughs> they fly a lot. Well, actually, they fly a great deal. They fly for thousands and thousands of miles. But in fact, when they're down on the ground, they'd rather walk away than fly away. Anyway, enough of Q. Come over here, because let's have a look at an animal that's name begins with R. You see, give me a hand, Sooty. No magician should be without one of these. R is for... <laughs> Rabbit. Rabbit. There we are. He's wonderful, is isn't he? he? Is he a rodent? No, a different family altogether, mm. Sue. What's it? Can you keep them as pets? Yes, you can. They make excellent pets. And as you can see, this one's quite, quite tame. He's beautiful. <laughs> What's he eat? Well, it's called being a herbivore, which means that he's a vegetarian. Bring that up, Sooty. We've got some 
cabbage here. Let's see whether he will eat some cabbage, shall we? Yes, there he is, look, munching away quite happily on a piece of cabbage. What about a name for the rabbit? What do you think? Name for the rabbit? Robin. Robin rabbit. <coughs> Boris? Good idea. <coughs> Boris the rabbit. We want some more R's. OK, something else beginning with R. Let's have a look at the video, shall we? Press it, Sooty. Go on. Ah, there we are. Now then, R is for rhinoceros. Look at those horns. Where about will you find him, then? Well, Africa and Asia, Sue. Well, thank you. I must make a point of not going there. <laughs> and R is for reindeer. There's a less frightening animal. Oh, well, Father Christmas has reindeer, doesn't he? That's right, Sue. But that was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. These are just ordinary reindeer. Look at his horns. Well, actually, they're called <laughs> antlers, Sue. Oh. So R is for rhino, R is for reindeer, and R is for rabbit. What's the T? What's the next letter of the alphabet? Do I have a lot now? What? Sue, what is the next letter of the S, alphabet? I think, isn't it? S, you're quite right. S is for spider. Oh, creepy crawly. <laughs> now, this spider that you're now looking at, this is an ordinary household spider, actually called a wolf spider, not very large and not very dangerous. This, on the other hand, is a completely different type of fish. Oh, it's so creepy, it is an insect. Well, no, actually, it isn't an insect because it's called an arachnid, which means it's got eight legs and it never, ever flies. This is actually a tarantula spider. What, Sooty? Are they dangerous? Well, of course, some spiders are very, very dangerous, but uh, if you treat them gently, they're usually all right. Fingers crossed. Now, what does he eat? Well, he is, in fact, a predator sweep, which means that he hunts, and he eats, hunts moths and insects. How big can spiders grow, Matt? Well, 280 millimetres across for some of the bigger spiders. Oh, Soon, let's see goodness. if he'll crawl back onto my hand. Or whether he'll change direction. There we are. So, we have seen that S is for spider. Let's have a look on the video. Oh, yes, let's see something Good pretty. <laughs> let's do something nicer, shall we, that begins with S. Let's have a look. Here we go. Ah, yes, oh. S is for sea lion. Oh, yes, he looks very sleepy, that one, doesn't he? He's obviously just been fed. What does he eat? Well, fish, Sue. You see, in the wild, sea lions spend most of their time in the sea. They are, in fact, superb swimmers. So, S is for sea lion and S is for spider. But, by the way, we haven't thought of a name for this spider. Oh, no. What should we call him? Let's call him Sammy. Sammy? Yes. Sammy the spider. He's coming to Good name me. for a spider. All right, don't worry, Sue. Mm. It's me to the rescue. Come on, Sammy. Come back here. Bye-bye, Sammy. Bye. Sue, why don't you press your button oh, and yes. take us off somewhere else to have a look at something else right. that begins okay. with S. Ready, steady, go. go. So, S is for sheep, and here we have a very hungry sheep. Well, several <laughs> very hungry sheep. What sort of sheep are these, Judy? These are Jacob's sheep. Jacob's sheep. A very old breed. I see. And what is this that they're actually taking from Sooty? What, what sort of food is this? This is a pelleted food. It has all the vitamins, minerals, and all the things that they need. Yes. And that one that you're holding healthy. onto, is, is that the daddy sheep? That is the ram, yes. And why are you holding onto him so, so firmly? Well, he has a warped sense of humour. He'd probably flatten you and Sooty quite oh, happily. I see. And, and the other ones here, they're the, they're the mummy sheep, are they? No, actually, they're, they are uh, male sheep, but they're I not... Uh... <laughs> they're only young. Yes. I see. And how, how long will they live? What's, what's the age span of a sheep? Do you have um, any idea? Well, we have a 20-year-old one here. Oh, 20 years old. old. I'm a very old very, 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 very old. Very old. Fellas, he's really rather nice. Does he have a name? Clint. Clint. I see, yes. Yes, good Oops, idea. No. Well, we'll make Clint's day by saying goodbye to Clint and remembering that S is for sheep. Bah. <laughs> OK, next letter. The next letter is T and uh, oh, T is for tortoise. Now, guess what sort of a creature a tortoise is? Um, hmm? Is it a rodent? No, it's not a rodent. Come back here. The mess moves slowly. What, Sooty? Is it an amphibian? No, it's not an amphibian. It's a reptile. Well done. Same as, <coughs> come back here, same as lizards and snake. He's actually a reptile. There he is. They make good pets, don't they? Well, it's actually quite a difficult topic, that, Sue, because you used to be able to get tortoises, but because they had problems with importing, they're very, very hard to find now, so that nobody keeps them as pets anymore. What? What do they eat? Well, mainly, they eat greenery. But I've got a little surprise for you, because this here, as you can see, is quite a big tortoise. This is a daddy tortoise, but here we have 
his son. Oh, look at that. That's baby, baby tortoise. tortoise. <laughs> look at the difference in the size between mm. the two. Can you How see that? How long do they live, Matthew? Well, these size of tortoises will probably live to about 70 or 80 or maybe even 90 years. Golly. But the big giant tortoises, Sue, they live to be 150 <laughs> years old. Oh, gosh. That's nearly as old as me. <laughs> Cheeky. Oi, would you come back here, please? What are we going to call... What are we going to call Junior? What should we call him? Timmy. Timmy the tortoise. Yeah, OK, let's see what we've got on video, beginning with T. Ah, T is for tiger. There he is in that cave. Oh, see him? I can see him. Look at those lovely stripes. He's actually the biggest of the big cats, Sue. He's bigger than the lion. And he lives in Africa too, doesn't he? No, that's a common mistake. There are no tigers in Africa, only in Asia. Oh. So T is for tiger and T is for tortoise. Hi there, Timmy. He's not moving a great deal, no. is he? Sue, push the button and let's see what other animal we can visit. Are? Whose name begins with T. Ready, steady, go! Well, T is for tapir. And this is a tapir. It's a funny looking creature. Well, it is a bit of a strange looking creature. It's rather like a, a sort of a big pig somehow, isn't it? And it's got a bit of a snout. And it has got a bit of a snout. Whereabouts do they live? Well, tapirs come from South America and also from Sumatra and Indonesia, and there we're getting a really good look at a tapir, aren't we, Sooty? Have they got any enemies? Well, their biggest enemy, in fact, is the jaguar. That's what they've got to fear most. And they're most in trouble from jaguars when they get out of the water, because they spend a lot of time in the water. Are they nocturnal? Well done, Sooty. They come out mainly at night. So there we have T, which is for tapir. <laughs> Strange-looking creatures, aren't they, Sue? Anyway, the next letter is U. So, Sooty, Sooty, what, what are you doing? Are you trying to think of an animal that begins with U? Well, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. What? Name one. All right, I will. Well, there's a. There's, actually, it's more difficult than it sounds, isn't it? Can you think of a, an animal that begins with U, sweet? And you can't. Sue. What about you? Can you think of an animal that begins with you? Hmm? Who? You. Who? You! Oh, never mind. Try the video. That's a very good idea. Let's see what there is on the video that begins with you. Ah, look! You is for umbrella cockatoo. Oh, ah. Is he called an umbrella cockatoo because he only comes out in the rain? No, Sue. He's called an umbrella cockatoo because of the crest on his head, which stands up when he wants attention. It looks like an umbrella. So what's the next letter in the alphabet? The one following you. V. V? Well done, Sue. V. And V is for vole. Oh, and this is a vole. In fact, in this tank, there are two voles. Are they the same as moles? Uh, no, they're similar. Same family, Sue. But moles live underground all the time and voles don't. However, voles do like it when it's dark. <laughs> Whereabouts do they live, then? <laughs> well, uh, they live in burrows underneath the ground and their actual home is called a nest. <laughs> what, Sooty? Like a bird's nest? Well, similar, except it's not up in the trees. What does a vole eat, then, Matthew? Well, a vole eats roots, shoots and leaves, Sue. Oh. And uh, they're found in most countries. And there are two good examples. It actually is quite cute, isn't it? It's anyway. like a little mouse, really. Little one. This is called a short-tailed vole. Smashing, aren't they? <laughs> OK, Sue, do you think you can uh, get onto the transporter and Probably. send Sooty and I away to see another animal whose name begins with V? So, V is for vulture. I see you shivering there, Sooty. What's wrong? You don't think you like vultures? Well, this one's quite nice. Let's have a look at him. He's called, actually, a king vulture. What does he eat? Well, don't worry, because he eats mainly dead things. As a matter of fact, they see their food because of their very keen eyesight. Can you see his eyes there? He's got very good eyesight. Where they normally live? Well, don't worry, because normally you only find them in Africa, soaring above the African plains. You think you'd like to leave now? <laughs> I don't blame you. He is rather big. But don't forget that V is for vulture. Oh, yuck! I don't like vultures. Oh, I don't know, Sue. It was quite handsome in a sort of strange <coughs> way. No. Anyway, that's yeah. the end of the V's. And that... What? The next letter is W.
I know that. You didn't have to tell me. The next letter is W, and uh, W <coughs> is for wasp. Oh, now they're um, insects. There are they? some wasps down the bottom there, walking about. Yes, they are insects. Same family as the honeybee. <coughs> what? The wasps make honey? No, no, they don't. Only bees make honey. Uh, is it true that a wasp can sting you once and then they die? No, that's not true at all, actually, Sue. That's the honeybee that does that. Bees can sting you once and then they die. Wasps go on stinging you time after time after time, so do be careful about them. <coughs> How long do they live? Well, normally a wasp will die during the autumn of each year, so they only live for one year, leaving the queen wasp to bring up a whole new nest of little wasps. And where do they live? Where do they live? Hmm. They live in nests, Sue, and the nests are sometimes in trees, Oh, and sometimes you find them in the garage. If you find a wasp's nest, don't touch it. Go and tell a grown-up about it. Actually, I'm not very fond of wasps. So, that's the end of the W's. What about on the video? Oh, of course, I forgot about that. Press the button on the video. Let's see what we've got, beginning with W. Ah, yes! W is for wolf. Oh, yes, he looks like a little doggy, doesn't he? Well, yes, it's the same family, Sue, except that wolves are bigger and stronger and much more savage than dogs. There you are. W is for wolf. And W also is for what? Good idea. Sue, any chance of going to see what other animal so begins with W? Press the knob then. Ready, steady. Press it. W is for wallaby. What? Where are the wallabies? Well, actually, they're very shy creatures, but you can just see them popping out over there. And uh, where do they come from? Well, they're actually from Australia. And they're rather like... A little tiny kangaroo. There's one now, look, see? He's very nervous. What do they eat? Well, they eat uh, roots and... Oh, goodness me, he's very quick as well. They eat roots and bark and things like that. Things with moisture in because they have to do without water for long periods of time. Are they kangaroos? Not exactly, just the same family. So, W is for wallaby. All right, enough, enough. They're all pretending to be wallabies. Well, that's the end of the W's, and uh, what's the next letter of the alphabet, Sue? X. X. Tricky one, but you can't think of something that begins with X. Well, I can. Give me a hand up. Oh, pretty. Because X is for X-ray fish. Oh, why are they called X-ray fish? Because you can see right through their bodies, Sue. Oh, yes, and where do they come from? Well, they're tropical fish, and they come from places like the Amazon River in South America. <laughs> Can you keep them as pets? <laughs> Lots of people keep tropical fish as pet sweet, but they are more difficult than you would actually think. And are they found in the sea? Uh, no, Sue, they've got to be in very warm water, and it's always fresh water as oh, well. What, Sooty? What do they eat? Well, almost anything that they find in the water, actually. <laughs> well, is there anything on the video beginning with X? I don't know, Sue. Let's press it and see. Let's have a look. Ah, now, X as in ox. Good and this is an Ancoliox. Look at those antlers. And no, Sue, this time they're horns, not antlers. But they're huge. Yes, their horns are much bigger than those of our domestic ox. <sighs> Big fella, eh? Mm. Mm. So, what is the next letter of the alphabet? Why? Well, because I want to know. Otherwise, we... <laughs> what? the next letter. Why? Uh, why? Goodness me, that's a difficult one. I can't think of anything that begins with why. Have a look on the video. Yes. Good idea. Go on, sweet, press the video. Yes, look, why is for yak. Oh, yes, and where does he come from? From Tibet. In fact, he's really the Tibetan equivalent of our domestic cow. So why is for yak? And what's the next letter of the alphabet? Z. And it's the last letter as well. Mm. You know what it's going to be? I bet you don't. Because, help me up with this. <laughs> there. Z is for zebra fish. Oh, yes, are they sea fish? Uh, no, these are tropical fish as well, Sue. We've seen some tropical fish before, haven't we? <laughs> Why are they called zebra? Well, guess, sweep. It's because of the stripes. See the stripes on their bodies? They look gentle and peaceful, don't they? Well, they look gentle and peaceful, Sue, and they are quite gentle and peaceful when they're young. But as they grow older, they become quite aggressive, and they have been known to actually attack much larger fish and, in fact, eat them. So they're not that pleasant, really, are they? Mm. Hmm. So there we have zebra fish. What, Sooty? Can Sue press the button? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, all right, Sue, it may be for the last time, so okay. make it a good one. Ready, steady, go! Z, of course, is for zebra.
and here you can see some zebras here. They're lovely, aren't they, Sooty? Are they horses? Well, they're not exactly horses, although they do belong to the horse family. You can see they look rather like horses, don't they? What? What are the stripes for? Well, a lot of people have wondered that. Some people say that the stripes are for camouflage. Other people say that it's because other zebras like the stripes, and so they all stick together. Do they live together? Well, they sort of do. They, they live in large herds. And whereabouts do they come from? Well, they come from Africa, an African animal. And so, Z is for zebra. Do you know, we've talked about 26 letters of the alphabet. What, Sooty? That's true. And you've looked at 66 different animals. Can we see them all again? Well, I don't really think there's time to be doing... What, Sooty? We can if we're quick. All right. Let's just have a quick look at the animals again, starting with A, because A is for ant. B is for beaver. C is for camel. D is for duck. E is for elephant. F is for flamingo. G is for goat. H is for hippopotamus. I is for iguana. J is for jellyfish. K is for koala. L is for lion. M is for monkey. N is for newt. O is for owl. P is for pig. Q is for quail. R is for rhinoceros. S is for sea lion. T is for tiger. U is for umbrella cockatoo. V is for vulture. W is for wolf. X as in ox. Y is for yak. And Z is for zebra. Well done. Oh, not well done at all, Sue. I've enjoyed myself. I've enjoyed looking at all those animals. Have you? Yes? We hope that you've enjoyed watching the animals. We also hope that you've learnt something along with us today. If you've enjoyed watching the video, wind it back to the beginning and watch it all over again. Until we see you again, bye bye everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. What was your favourite animal, Sissy?